zashafornetbooknews.com with a first look at the brand new Google Music app for Android. That's the version 4.0.9. And yeah, you can already see it's running over here in the background playing Playing Foods from Smoking Suckers with Logic, one of my favorite albums of the early 90s, I guess. Oops. Here we go. Um, let's take a quick look at the different settings over here. You can see here we have um, the playlist and you can sort it by artists. And do you notice this here? That's looking a little bit different. There's animation over there. And uh, let's try out something else so we can also see uh, what else you can do over here. We can start an, an instant mix. We can add it to a playlist and of course we can shop for the artists immediately. This would take us then to um, the Google market, the music market, which is kind of a problem over here because I haven't set up a US proxy and in Taiwan we, can, we just can't access this right now. Um, what else is new? Um, we can take a look at the albums. Oh, that's pretty much still the same. Uh, but Let's go back over here. Let me show you recent. So here are the recent uploads um, to Google Music. Gives you a nice kind of Android ice cream sandwich look and feel. And um, anyways, it works very well. I just installed it over um, the previous version that I had and it took all the information that I got stored. Let's check out settings. So over here you can uh, sign up or uh, set up your Google account. What I also like is you can cache music. Oh, we should definitely go for high quality stream. So that means due to the fact that Google is uploading the songs that you can buy on their music store at 320 kilobit, this would of course cause quite some traffic on your handset and you can set it up over here and the download queue, a couple of open source licenses, whatever. It works very well. I really like it. But let's take also a look. Well, first of all, we might want to stop this over here. Um, let's also take a look at the smartphone version of it. Okay, here we go. Music and let's see. So this gives you more an idea of how um, this kind of ice cream sandwich theme that they're using is working out. Okay, that's the portrait mode. And when I switch into landscape, you have this nice little cover gallery scroll here. And um, let's turn up some music. Um, old German crossover band from the 90s, such a search. And you can see that this is a little bit different compared to the one on a tablet. You can also make it available, shop for artists, more by this artist. Kind of weird that it shows up on WhatsApp audio. Maybe I want to turn down the volume a little bit. What else is new? Um, besides that, recent albums. I mean, that's pretty much the same as on um, the version for the tablet, especially when we're holding this in this landscape mode. Um, but over here, you can see that looks pretty neat. Settings, again, I can make songs available offline. I can shuffle them. Uh, I can only play offline music. And the settings are, again, the same as the ones on the tablet version. Well, there is no tablet version. It's only one version. So uh, check out the new Google Music app. Uh, it should be available on the Android market. And if you can't get it over there, just take a look at this link underneath this video and you can download it from there. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com and that's the new Google Music 4.0.9 for Android. Thanks for watching.